Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, we're going to quickly go over the Season 1 patch notes for Multiverses. It will hopefully be launching sometime around 10 a.m. PST on August 15th. So if you're watching that, it means it's going to be coming out in about the next 9 to 8 hours. Uh, but if you're watching this later, it has probably already gone live. So, uh, Morty is coming on the 23rd, and he will have a Plumbus. Uh, on Twitter, Tony Hune, I believe that's how you say his name, announced that he will be considered expert tier. Um, the patch, as they say right here, is coming in two parts, the first being on August 15th, and then the second will be hopefully a few days later. Um, from the 15th to the 30th of August, Arya, Batman, LeBron, and Steven will be the free character rotations. They are changing the meta system. Uh, I guess not changing the meta system, but there's meta system updates. So free rotation characters now have icons. Battle pass XP rewards are increased for up to 10 for wins and 5 for losses. So that's up from 5 uh, for wins and 3 for losses. So you're going to get winning pretty much gives you double the amount of points now. Uh, they disabled the battle pass missions other than for tanks because Wonder Woman is the only guaranteed character that ca players have. Uh, they lowered the requirements for a number of seasonal missions. Uh, so all of these were previously 75. For the ring out from the top, side, and bottom, you now only have to get 50. And you only have to get 50 assists, assists previously 125. Uh, there are then a bunch of general perk upgrades or updates. Uh, for clear the air, they increase the consistency on perk effect. Uh, they're aware of the inconsistencies and it's coming in a future patch. Make it rain dog. Projectile speed is now properly applied to thrown items. Painted target. Uh, they fixed the issue where projectiles weren't applying bonus damage. Uh, retaliation ready. Reduced unstacked gray health from 3 HP for 3 seconds to 1 HP for 3 seconds. Uh, that's a reduction from 4 HP for 3 seconds to... Oh, then, then they also reduced stacked gray health from 4 to 2. School me once, they increased the consistency on projectile block spawn. Uh, getting hit by Jerry will now spawn a projectile block buff. Slippery when faint, fixed an issue when evade distance was not increased on cancel hit cancels. Snowball effect, fixed an issue where projectiles weren't properly applying bonus damage. And static electricity, increased consistency in projectiles electric damage application. And then they note thrown items will now apply electricity. Moving on to the gameplay systems, the ice debuff, they are now having movement speed slow at one stack reduced from 20 to 15%. Uh, slow now scales linearly with each stack of ice debuff, and they removed a bug where fighters affected by the ice debuff took additional knockback. They also fixed a bug with cooldowns, where cooldowns would not trigger properly if used near an ally Jake. Now for game modes, uh, free for all, they fixed a bug where pop-up text would display the incorrect point value. And for the UI, the announcer packs, you can add preview character announcer packs before deciding to unlock it. Uh, there's various bug fixes for the tutorial, and they added new terms to the glossary. Now, getting on to the characters, um, as they show here, we have a legend. So a plus is a buff, a minus is a nerf, and a tilde is a change. Uh, so for Arya, pretty much, she got an overall buff to her ability to combo. Uh, they state right here that the goal is to make her more usable for lower skill levels. Um, I'm not going to go over all of the abilities here. You guys can read them. But pretty much, it seems like she's going to be easier to combo in the air now. Batman got a not significant, but a interesting nerf his ground slide attack now has an added three frames of whiff recovery and the cooldown on his batarang has gained two uh, has been increased by two seconds but that is not coming until the second patch of update season one um 
and then Bugs Bunny, they're giving him additional whiff punish windows to help address his ability to dodge most attacks. Um, so they fixed the exploit where he could spawn two rockets with his air special up. Uh, they fixed an exploit where he could spawn two rockets with his side special. They fixed an exploit where Bugs could spawn multiple safes without triggering his cooldown. Uh, the safe HP was reduced from 16 to 14. They changed his down special. Uh, previous tunnels will now disappear when creating new tunnels. And then they nerfed his air up, air side, and air neutral attacks by adding whiff frames. Uh, up has four, side and neutral have five. And then his ground, dan ground down attack. Wow, that's hard to say. Uh, the Pi Max lifetime is set to 8 seconds from infinite. And the Pi no longer applies a slow. Uh, Finn, uh, they are saying that fighting against Finn felt too difficult as Finn felt a bit too safe and could throw out attacks without too much fear of a punch due to how quick he recovered. Hurt slash hitbox fund uh, foundational updates are coming soon but will not be in this patch. They changed his passive... Uh, or they nerfed his passive, I should say. Attacks affected by attack decay no longer spawn coins. Finn now spawns with 100 gold instead of 200. They buffed his air down special. Um, fixed an issue where the gem required 200 gold to spawn, but only cost 100 to spawn. Gem now requires and costs 100. His air slide special, they added with recovery. His ground air up special, they reduced the strength of the vacuum effect on the backpack. Uh, weaker hits of the backpack will no longer overwrite stronger knockbacks from other attacks. Whiffing with all hits will stop, will still drop a coin. Added more whiff recovery. Uh, upslide attack, they reduced f active frames uh, to diminish Finn's ability to hit fighters behind him. Uh, ground down attack distance Finn covers with this attack now scales on how charged the attack is. Uh, his side attack increased with recovery for the first hit. And then on the house perk, fixed an issue where Finn spent all gold on gems spawned by this perk. <sighs> uh, Garnet got two buffs and a slight change. Her song activation now starts earlier on frame 12 instead of frame 30 her they changed her air ground down special fixing a bug where garnet would be stopped by iron giants collision when she moved with her down special and then a buff to her air neutral attack with a slightly higher base knockback um then moving on to harley the stuffy bat uh, the effects for the bomb have been shrunk to better match the explosion radius and they increased her weight from 42 to f or from 42 to 44 iron giant uh they changed a bunch of effects uh they nerfed his down his neutral and they changed his ground forward uh, so his grab can now be blocked by incompatible states. Uh, I don't really play a lot of Iron Giant, so I'm going to kind of skip over him. Uh, Jake, air down attack removed instant cancel out of attack to prevent skateboard infinites. And ground up attack, additional whiff recovery. They changed LeBron's air ground slide, so his solo dunk no longer spawns a shockwave on the ground. The alley -oop teleport version of LeBron's dunk spawns a shockwave that will launch fighters into the shockwave. Uh, solo dunk knockback and hit sizes, hitbox sizes increased, and fixed a bug where LeBron could not dunk himself into the sky. Or fixed a bug where LeBron could dunk himself into the sky. They changed his ground air down special with no ball uh, adjusted to prevent ball spam. They buffed his side neutral of air attacks and his ground slide and ground down attacks and his ground side attack. They changed his ground neutral attack to fix angle of attack. They changed the basketball uh, to fix some visual bugs and hot hand perks. When an ally catches the no look pass with hot hands perk equipped, the basketball pass buff will emanate the flames and let allies know that their throw is ignited the basketball.
there are a lot of updates here. Rain Dog, his up air special removed hit pause on ally that threw Rain Dog when Rain Dog connects in ball form. Uh, air ground neutral increased cooldown to 14 seconds and up air hitbox size increase. Uh, then they have a note here for Shaggy that his side special felt too unpunishable, so they've added a bit of whiff recovery. Uh, his rage air side special uh, recovery is increased by two frames. His rage ground down special, his shockwave will now launch fighters into a final hit that applies weakened debuff, and his ground air side special added four additional frames of whiff recovery. Steven, uh, his ground down special, the watermelon Steven ability cooldown now begins when watermelon Steven is wrung out. Uh, Air neutral attack no longer will animate hitch, so that's a change. Uh, some effects, and then his taunt all got fixed. Superman straight got uh, nerfed. His neutral, all of his ground, so his neutral up, down, and... Wow, I can't talk. His ground neutral up and down attacks were all had with recovery added. Oh, wow, Taz is also a lot, so let's look at Taz a little bit more in depth. Um, this is the start of our tornado changes for Taz. We will be continuing to monitor the, or the tornado with extra scrutiny in case additional changes are needed. His chicken debuff fixed a bug where the transform fighters could receive buffs that would not appear visually when they returned to their normal form. Reduced chicken duration from 10 to 8 seconds, and they increased the size of the chicken. His ground and air down special, they adjusted the projectile movement direction of Taz's split projectiles to be more forward and less of a lob. When Taz spits a projectile back at a fighter, the projectile will maintain its original speed. His air ground neutral, uh, if Taz eats a projectile, it can't, it can't be spit back. He will refresh a count of his apple core ability. His air ground up special was nerfed from 10 to 9 damage. Uh, and base knockdown knockback was reduced from 1500 to 1350. And then his air ground side special was changed. There is now a cooldown move with a seven second cooldown. While cooldown is active, side special is weaker version of tornado. Full power tornado has 1.5 second duration and receives an additional one second duration after passing an ally. On cooldown, the tornado has a 0.25 second duration and does not grant additional duration by passing an ally. His ground up attack is now a two hit attack, early hit combos into the sandwich, sandwich clap. Now moving on to a character that I play a fair bit, Tom and Jerry. Uh, Tom and Jerry's dynamite now play uh, applies projectile perk effects. Their air normal attacks, they fix the bug that would prevent them from using the air special uh, air attacks. Well, oh my god, let me re-say that. Uh, they fixed a bug that would prevent them from using normal attacks when air special had been limit, re limit had been reached. And their air up special fixed an issue where Jerry would continue to have active hit frames while falling from the rocket. Velma got nerfed a lot. <laughs> so her air side and up specials were both nerfed by reducing. So the air, air side was reduced move distance. The air up reduced weakened stacks from three to two. Her ground side reduced gray health from 12 HP for four seconds to six HP for three seconds. Her air down attack increased recovery. Her air side added whiff recovery. Her ground air neutral attacks fixed issues where the word bubbles would go through Bugs' tunnels. Reduced ammo count from four to three and reduced ammo return from 11 to 10. Her weight was decreased from 63 to 60. And the knowledge is power perk reduced gray health from seven HP for five seconds to three HP for three seconds. Finally, we have Wonder Woman, who all around was buffed, and she is just like, 
Wow, she, we're going to see a lot more Wonder Woman's this season, I think. So her ground air neutral special lowered the cooldown to 12 seconds. Her ground special, her ground side special, the projectiles field now comes out earlier to allow her to better react to incoming projectiles. There is a change to her, her air up attack for the hurt box, now a better match for the animation. Her weight was increased from 65 to 76. And there is a change to her Shield of Athena signature perk, adjusted the scale of projectile shield for the Shield of Athena signature perk. They cover an edge case where projectiles would pass above during a dodge. Wow. So, that is a lot to go through. And I know that this is just kind of a big talking video, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, just to get a good idea of what all is going to be expected tomorrow when season one of multiverses is released uh right here we can see on twitter tony hoon who's the game director for multiverses said that i think the patch comes out at 10 a.m pst he could be wrong that was about an hour ago let's see if there's anything new yeah he hasn't updated it so hopefully sometime around 10 a.m pst which is 1 p.m. Eastern, we will have the update, and I will be live here on YouTube checking out the whole thing. So if you guys uh, want to check out the new content or you want to see what's going on, uh, be sure to come join the stream. I will be live all morning, and then I will be live for the patch release, and we'll be playing some ranked, so it should be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.